Are there pros or are there cons to having multiple memberships? Now, this is a this depends on how different the audiences that you are working with have. Okay, so if your topic that you are teaching is still within the same topic, i.e. Uh, an example we've got here is art. And yes, the medium being used is very different. In the example we've got today, we've got pencil, we've got graphite, very different ways of learning and using those different um, tools and those medium. However, it's still the topic of art. And what you don't want to do in business is overcomplicate anything. The second you've got two different memberships, you now have two completely separate marketing methods, two completely separate marketing campaigns that need to be run. And now you've doubled your workload and doubled your administration and doubled the confusion students might potentially have about which one they're in, which one they should be in. My recommendation is to, when it comes to memberships, is to go, how can I put everything I teach together in one place that is going to suit the tastes of lots of different people? Think of a menu in a restaurant, okay? They don't just have one thing on the menu. They don't say this is the soup restaurant. Some, of course, there are some soup restaurants, but even in a soup restaurant, you would have multiple different kinds of soup to choose from, right? The more we can offer and fulfill and tingle the taste buds of as many people as possible, the more people we're likely to attract in and the more people we're likely to make happy. And what happens is if you know you go into one of those big buffets, you're gonna try things that you might not have bought or ordered because they're freely available to you as part of paying for that meal. So when you're creating a membership that you know, is going to attract like-minded people, I would put it into one membership, you have one offer, you share that, make that membership amazing, which is going to then give you much more retention. So I'd say that's what I would do. And this is how my own Legends Lab Academy has evolved over the years. I'm a teacher trainer, I teach course creation. However, around that, I also teach marketing, I also teach tech, I also teach speaking, I also teach confidence, I also teach book writing. What did I do? I could have had 50 different memberships, which would have killed me within five minutes. Or I focus on one, putting all my energy into making that one place as amazing as I can, and promoting that one thing with one customer journey, and doing my best to make it a great place for people to learn so many different skills when they're in there. That's my recommendation when it comes to similar topics for the membership. If you have wildly different topics that are completely different spectrums and totally different people that they're being marketed to, you may want to even consider making those completely separate domains. Inside Techmatics, you can connect multiple domains. I would have them almost operate as entirely different businesses if they were that considerably different. But again, look at platforms like, uh, what's it called, Mastermind? Is it called Mastermind? Um, platforms Udemy. Again, you, you pay to have access to everything from coding to art. Mm -hmm. So don't underestimate that people have more than one interest as well. I have got a huge array of different topics within my one membership to cater to as many tastes as I can, and it works. When you're introducing a new category to mm -hmm. an existing membership, you might give those people founding membership in the same way you gave the previous founding members. And as long as you are not giving them an even better deal than the last members had, so as not to upset your first and loyal customers, your justification is they we're adding a new category. These are new people coming in just like you did with the same special founding members option that you guys got to enjoy too.